Welcome back to the Daily Mastermind. George Wright III, I'm your host. I'm here to help you get a little more inspiration motivation today, and I hope you're having a good day to start. Um, I had a couple of thoughts I wanted to share with you today, and we're going to start out with the Daily Mastermind quote of the day on the Daily Mastermind mobile app. So if you haven't downloaded the mobile app, i got to tell you there's so many resources on there for you on the go. I highly recommend it. It's free. There's no uh, there's no products to buy on it. It's just a free version. Um, but the, the quote of the day today is an anonymous quote. It says, plan your work and work your plan. Plan your work and work your plan. Pretty much the motto of most entrepreneurs, right? So today, I want I had a couple of thoughts. Um, the first one is that I want to just remind you the importance of having a long-term vision, but short-term execution. See, a lot of us, um, you know, kind of go one spectrum or the other. We either are so focused on our vision and dream building and the future that we don't execute in the moment. And then there are those of us that stay so busy that we never take time to build our future and to crystallize and clarify what our vision is. And so I want to encourage you to remind yourself to maintain a long-term vision, but execute in the short term. Execute in the moment. Because remember, life is only lived in the moment. And that's why it's so important to execute and be present. So the other thought I wanted to share with you today, I, I ran across a really good article, and it was a reminder for me personally, and so I thought maybe it's something that could bring some value to you. It was in, it, it was in Entrepreneur Magazine. I don't even know uh, when or where um, or even the title, but it, it, uh, it's something that I wrote some notes to myself on, and it was, um, it was successful characteristics of hustlers, or, or better put, um, characteristics of successful hustlers. See, I think this this term of hustle is and work hard and grind and those kind of things is so common right now with entrepreneurs and in the business and the entrepreneurial environment. But I think it's important to distinguish between working hard and hustling and successful hustling. And 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 I think that the difference maker is in characteristics and attributes that you that you aspire to have in your life are the difference makers. So I've got kind of a list. I just made a few notes uh, that I want to be able to share with you. What are the key characteristics of a successful hustler? Um, based on some things and thoughts I had from that, from that article, the first one is that a successful hustler realizes the importance of networking. Now, I'm, I'm by nature kind of an introvert, and a lot of really successful CEOs and individuals are introverts, but they realize the importance of networking and the importance of building relationships and, and having connections in the marketplace. And so I encourage you to, to network. Schedule that into what you're working on. Another thing is laser focus 24-7. I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's good enough to just be laser focused once in a while. I think you have to be consistent and disciplined in your focus twenty four seven. The other thing is um, successful hustlers are risk takers. You have to look at risk as the price that you pay to create success. Don't look at risk and see fear and you know all the downsides of it and things like this because it leads me to another characteristic which is successful hustlers fail big more often. They fail big and they fail hard more often because failure is also the gateway to success. It's obviously a lot of life lessons and things learned, but you, 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 if you're not failing, then you're probably not trying enough and you're not pushing hard enough and you're not taking enough risks. And so that's why success when it comes to business and entrepreneurialism is a trial and error thing and you've got to be able to take risks and fail hard often and fast. Another thing that successful hustlers do is they eliminate distractions. See, if you're running your day based on everything coming at you, then you're reactive. If you're basing your day and you're filling your schedule with things that are important to you, then you need to do everything you can to eliminate your distractions, whether that be turning your phone off or, uh, you know, turning down your notifications or staying off the Internet. A lot of times we get like I have multiple screens on my desk and, and, and you know, sometimes I'll find myself with open messenger and email and browsers and documents. You got to eliminate distractions and focus in on what you're doing in the moment so that you can be more successful and eliminating those distractions is a key. <clears throat> Another thing that successful hustlers do 
is they think out of the box. They think win-win, and they think that there's always a solution to every situation, every obstacle, every problem. There's always a solution, but sometimes it's only when you think outside of the box, when you get outside what your normal mind is. Because when you're trying to push to new levels, your mind that's gotten you where you are isn't going to get you there. So you've got to learn to question the norm and think outside the box. That's a real big one. Successful hustlers also are extremely disciplined with their daily rituals. I know that when I'm not as tight on my daily rituals, my days don't go as well as they should. I have daily rituals not just to do them, but because they're strategic. They set up my mindset. They get my blood flowing. They get some exercise. I get I get focused on the areas that I want to focus on. And I do daily rituals for myself <clears throat> that that are designed for my mindset, things that I need. For you, it might not be listening to a podcast or meditation. For you, it might be exercise. For you, it might be pictures or songs or music that that take you where you need to be. But be disciplined with your daily rituals because your daily rituals are there to help you get to the next level. And so when you when you take a pass on those or you skip over them, you're going to suffer in your ultimate success as an entrepreneur. The other thing that... Uh, successful hustlers are is they're authentic now this is a tough one listen it, it's tough for me I'm sure it's tough for you because as entrepreneurs a lot of times we we care so much about what other people think and we want to make a good impression but just know that authenticity is the currency of the current marketplace being more authentic being real being yourself um, and I know that you're going to struggle with this imposter syndrome. We talk about the fact that maybe you don't feel good enough because let's be honest, it, it's a real catch-22. In order to aspire to be the person that you want to be, you have to, you have to go outside your comfort zone and you have to go outside who you mentally feel you already are. Now, however you do that, it might be that you use something uh, that people like Kobe Bryant and you know all kinds of dig, you know, big singers and athletes and things use, they use this alter ego effect. Um, there's a lot of really successful people that have used an alter ego because they, they can believe that their alter ego can do things that maybe they can't do. <clears throat> and ultimately, when you learn about this, you're going to learn that your core self does have the ability to create and to take things to the next level. And sometimes an alter ego is just a tool to get you past this imposter syndrome and so that you can be more authentic and be you or be someone that you feel like it is difficult for you to be but it allows you to do that so authenticity <clears throat> and stepping outside your comfort zone excuse me the other thing is and this is a real key i've i've been dealing with this a lot lately and i've tried to push more and more this direction but successful hustlers love what they do and they do what they love see sometimes we get so you know, enamored, shiny object syndrome, right? Where we, we're chasing the money, we're chasing the opportunity, we're chasing, you know, this fear of missing out that we, we push areas that we know we can be successful in, but we don't love. And ultimately, you're going to have far more success in doing things that you're passionate about and things that you love to do. Because when you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. And you've heard that quote before. And so I encourage you to focus in on what you love that involves doing more of what I've talked about with my partner, Robert Stuberg, following your unique talents. That's things that you're excellent at, but you're passionate about. Because so many of us get caught up in things that we're just good at, we're not passionate about. And, and, and worse yet, some of us get caught up in things that we're just competent at. And that is the worst possible thing you can have as an entrepreneur, is to do things you're good at. Not even excellent at, but good at. Because that's the comfort zone, that's the safety zone that you kind of you keep yourself in. The last characteristic I want to mention to you of a successful hustler, a successful hustler, is that they create their own opportunities. See, so many times we are looking for opportunities. We're trying to deal with what we're given, the, the hand that we're dealt, rather than saying, and I've been doing this my whole life, I'm going to create an opportunity. I'm going to use the resources that I have, and I'm going to create the opportunity that's going to take me to my vision. So many times we struggle with our vision because we don't see an opportunity that'll take us there. And so we settle. Instead, what we should be doing is creating and crystallizing and clarifying the vision we ultimately want. And then if you don't have the opportunity that's going to get you there, doing something that you love, create it. Create the opportunity that's going to get you there. That's something that I know that you've got to strive to do. So if you can, <clears throat> you know, focus on networking, laser focus, 
take risks, fail five times faster, eliminate your distractions, think outside the box, focus on your daily rituals, being authentic and doing what you love, and create your own opportunities, you're going to be a very successful, very, very successful entrepreneur. And all that hustle and grind and everything that you're doing will pay off in, in, in a big way. So that's what I recommend for you. I look forward to helping you. I look forward to hearing from you. Go to The Daily Mastermind on Instagram or, or Facebook and send me some feedback. I want to know what it is that's going to help you be inspired and motivated to the next level. That's my message for today. Have an amazing day. I look forward to talking with you more tomorrow. Once again, my name is George Wright III, and this has been The Daily Mastermind. Have a great day.